Let the children come forward for children's time. Wow, what a beautiful time of year it is. Uh, a lot of people like it and come up here to visit our area of the North Georgia mountains because they love to see the change of the season, change of uh, colors uh, in the trees and change of kind of the a cooler weather. Uh, it's something to be excited about. I hope you're enjoying your life outside and maybe even inside. I hope you're not having to stay inside too much because God created it all for us to be able to enjoy what God has made and to be able to enjoy the life and, and playing and having fun. Uh, I know that uh, we're going to try to get some things to you this weekend and uh, so that uh, our uh, Caitlin, our intern, will have a, a time of with you all uh, with a project, and so we hope that works out. We love you. We miss you. We, we uh, uh, want you to know that this is a, a difficult time for all of us, and I'm sure it is for you. Things aren't normal, so we've got to wear a mask. We've got to stay safe, and so I hope that you're understanding that this is just what we're all going through at this time. But I want to talk to you about a time where sometimes people didn't like Jesus. They didn't like him because... He made them think. He made them want to change to be better people. And they didn't want to change. Do you ever know anybody like that that they don't want to change? Sometimes we can be that way. We don't want to change. But God wants us to be uh, grow in our love. God wants us to be the people that learn to um, love all people. And so Jesus talked about how that we could do that. And one of the things he talked about was how that we love God with our whole heart. We love God with all of our soul and all of our mind. Have you ever put all of your mind into something? You were really concentrating. You really were focused. You weren't distracted. Well, you ever think about loving God in such a way? But what about with all your heart? You know, you really love maybe your pet or your, you know, love uh, uh, a, a favorite toy, but you really love your parents or your brother and sister or relatives, a friend. What about really loving God with all of your heart? And so I want you to think about, boys and girls, this scripture comes in, in, from Matthew 22, and, and it says, you know, when someone asks, well, what's the greatest commandment? What's the best thing that we can do? And Jesus said, well, you love God, you love your neighbor as yourself. And he put together these two and said, everything revolves around that. How that we love God and how we love God is that we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. So I hope, boys and girls, you'll think about how it, that when you go out and you're going to school or you're staying at home and you're at the table, in all the places you are, that you think about how can I love God and love these people around me. And when it says neighbor, it means even those far, far away. How can you love them as you love yourself? Boys and girls, I think this is something that we'll spend a lifetime trying to figure out and trying to practice and do that with others that we meet. But I hope that we hear that wonderful love that God has for you and for me so that we can share that with others. So maybe... What we really hear in the scripture is how much that God loves you. And that when you hear that, you know it's easy, something that you have to share with others. Boys and girls, God loves you. And may it be something you never forget. So that you can love God back and love your neighbor as yourself. Amen.